What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Minds. Where a drunk mind speaks sober thoughts. Now, I told y'all we coming with the guests now. Don't <laughs> <laughs> stop fucking playing with us. <laughs> we got light-skinned Keisha in the building. Yes. We got another guest today. <laughs> so, I, I know the girls know who you are. Everybody know who you are. Right. But for the people who don't know, just introduce us and tell us about yourself. Um, I am a light-skinned Keisha. Aka Big Bang Bisha and yeah. Period. That's all, that's all you got to say. That's all you got to say. So the listeners on the show know that like I'm really excited right now because we always have the bop of the week. We're gonna talk about that later. Okay. But I have made your song Bop of the Week that fucked me up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was my jam. Like a few weeks ago. That was my jam. I was mm-hmm. like, we got our first live show coming up. So uh-huh. I've already been practicing my dance moves, how I'm gonna walk out to that hoe. Okay. You know period. what I'm saying? Because I I seen you with the Birkin and how you was moving. I was like, I ain't got a Birkin yet, but I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna get some of them dance moves, girl. Yeah. Period. Okay. I said, you know, I'm going to be representing. So, what's up? What you been up to? What's going on? Um, I've just been working a lot. Actually, I'm working on my new project that I'm about to drop. Actually, I'm working on two different projects. So, yeah, I'm about to drop two different projects um, towards the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, new singles coming out. Um, uh, new season of Ghost is about to premiere in November. Oh, congratulations, congratulations yes. on yeah, that. Congratulations. You. Yes, because you did your thing. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate will say. it. <laughs> I'm ready to see the next season. Too. Yeah, I'm excited, too. Yeah. That, yeah. I mean, I have been invested. Like, it's just so so many different plots and twists so I'm excited mm-hmm. to see oh, where yeah. it comes it's about, to, it's about to blow your minds mm-hmm. so yeah. what's been up sis what you been up to mm-hmm. girl nothing no same working you know <laughs> we just got back from Jacksonville Jacksonville was lit we had a house then in Jacksonville mm-hmm. this past weekend so I mean that was cool but yeah we've been we've been moving around a lot we've been traveling a lot we have been I feel like I'm so happy we're gonna be t- yeah I'm we a got little a little tired. break we do we got a little break for the next few weeks so mm-hmm. I'm excited about that to just be back in Atlanta chilling right. mm-hmm. So, yeah, I feel like I'm about to go see Mr. Cabo next week. So, it's going to be turned up. You are? You know I love me some Mr. Cabo, bitch. Are y'all going somewhere or are you just going to visit him? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just got to see. We got to figure out what type of time he on. You know, when the BDB jumps, you say how hot. Right. You know? That's what you got to do. <laughs> you know? So, we we have a the time called a BDB, a big dick baller. We going to get into that later. Because okay. you low-key got you one, girl. <laughs> she got my man. She off the game, y'all. I Jewelry, everything. <laughs> yeah. So we are gonna go ahead and get into these topics. Okay. So you are a relationship. We are very much not. Right. So the first topic very we wanted single. to talk about today is uh, holding somebody down and fighting for your relationship versus leaving. Mm-hmm. Because I'm a leave. I'm, I'm, I, I can't. As soon as a nigga like I text a nigga, he don't text me back in three minutes. I'm like, you know what? I'm I'm posting Instagram posts. You know what? I'm a real bitch. I'm, I'm a, texting I'm a another nigga along. already. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm bad. That's the problem. The attention. See, that's why. Yeah. That's why we need that's you. That's why we're talking to you, sis. <laughs> Okay, so what y'all want to know? Like, 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 so are you a, a hold hold him down? I'm not leaving. We gonna work things out. Well, when you say hold him down, like, what do you mean? Because like, what? Like, hold down what? Like, hold down the relationship. You mean like, it's depending men, on what happens? Yeah, like sometimes yeah. men mess up. Yeah, sometimes you know men aren't perfect. They might slide in somebody DMs, or they might be out, get drunk, pass out, not answer your phone call, like stuff like that. It'll make me put my guard back up. I won't necessarily stop talking to you, but I always just feel like it's so many bitches, especially in Atlanta. We live in Atlanta. We know how it yeah. is out here. So I just feel like if a nigga's not doing, you know, paying attention to me, giving me the time, it's like, okay, you giving your time to somebody else. Especially mm-hmm. in the dating stage. Right. You know, I think it's easy to be not interested anymore. Mm-hmm. But I feel also it just depends on what type of man you're going for too. So... Therefore, you have to hold yourself accountable for what type of guys you're going for. Because if you're thinking already like that, like you're going into a situation where you feel like, oh, he finna be cheating or he finna be fucking with somebody else, then that's not the one for you. Mm-hmm. Right. But what's your end goals? Like, what do y'all want to be? Do you guys want to be somebody's wife? What do you want to be? Mm. Yeah, see, we talk about that all the time on the show. Sometimes I don't really know if I necessarily want to get married. Do you want to have kids? I do want to have kids, but I'm not sure if I want to get married. So why do you... This is my question. Okay. Why do you want to have kids? <laughs> She always, she always I got to have kids. Nigga, <laughs> drink. I got too much shit to do. But why? Okay, so you don't want to have kids. So okay, uh-uh. you you a different story. <laughs> but you, okay, you want to have kids, but you don't know if you want to get married. So that means that you already gonna be. You're planning to already bring this child into and, and have a deficit in their life, right? I mean, I feel like 
if I find the right person, we could get married. I just sometimes I don't really have a lot of faith. But in do you these have to find niggas. the right person to have the baby? I do think I have to find the right person to have a kid. But I also feel like I'm in a position where I'm doing things for my own, so I would completely be okay with having to take on that responsibility by myself as as far as financial shit go. If I have to, I don't think that's okay. Ooh. I don't think it's okay neither but i feel like it's the reality of like the Why? generation that we live in because i just feel like that's how most of these niggas are i don't know those are the niggas that you going after you got to find somebody that's going to but i don't really you. be going after nobody it'd be the people that be coming after me i don't go <laughs> if we being honest like i don't go chase these niggas even okay. the niggas that be trying to talk well, to me well not necessarily go after but i'm saying like these obviously if you're giving your attention to these people mm-hmm. then you know what i'm saying that's what's going you know but i just feel like you women we have to take accountability as far as like where we're giving our attention to mm-hmm. right you know what i'm saying the type of man that we're giving our attention to I but agree. i don't think i think i want me personally i want marriage to be a thing again mm-hmm. you know i want women to feel like they should be able to get married because y'all deserve that why not you right. know what i'm saying i mean i want it to be a thing again so i talk about it all the yeah. time on the show how i grew up in a two-parent household my parents See? were married my whole life Life, but I just feel like niggas don't be built like how my daddy was no more. They really don't. I feel you, but there are some dudes out there that's built like that, yeah. and it just it's gonna take time. But you can you, find one. But time is kind of ticking, mm-hmm. right? It is. I- What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. Now, y'all know we like to get our drink on. And we ain't sipping follies no more. We done upgraded. It's a busy. You know what I'm saying? And I be dizzy. Uh, I know that's right. Because that shit works. And the good thing about busy is that it's low-key kind of good for you. Got the antioxidant vitamin C. Mm-hmm. Got the acerola cherry. All the good stuff. They got yes. the pineapple mango. Yeah, the pineapple mango is so good. Good. <laughs> And the blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> I just said it uh, I told you. And the blueberry pomegranate is my favorite. Mm-hmm. And at five percent ABV and a hundred calories, you're not even gonna feel like you know how I you feel kind of head. You can't lose. Mm-hmm. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to busyheartseltzer.com backslash poor minds and find where you can get your busy on. That's busyheartseltzer.com slash poor minds. And remember, you must be 21 and older. And make sure y'all look out for the limited edition pride packaging too. Mm-hmm. Right. It is. I guess I just feel like it just be crazy because me being a single woman, mm-hmm. literally, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, like half the men that are in my DMs be married. Yeah. So I'll be like, is this what I have to look forward to? Like So don't ask just, you something. Do you think that all men cheat? I do. We both do. I do. Yeah. Oh wow. We're tainted. We yeah. are this this is a counseling session. It is. We are tainted. All men don't cheat. Yes. I'm gonna say that. You right shot here. Yes. Pop down. Pop down. <laughs> all men don't cheat. Okay, I will say this. I have been in situations. But do you feel like all men have cheated? Because that's what I mean. Okay, when I so say this is what cheaters. I'm gonna say. Like this is what I'm gonna say. Okay. When you find like okay, so have, do I feel like all men have cheated probably prior into like in their early relationships? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. I can't speak for all men in all right. relationships. Right. I can only speak on the experiences that I've been through. But mm-hmm. I will say this, like the relationship that I'm in now, our problems are not infidelity. Our right. problems are not oh who part. you are not it's not about oh who you're who DMs you in and who's in your DMs and da 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 da. We don't have those problems. Our problems is you were supposed to upload that content or we were supposed to get mm-hmm. work. Like you goals. know what I'm saying? Right. That's our problems. But that's because we understand each other and I feel mm. like but the 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 problem is nowadays though a lot of girls don't even get to know these guys that they're trying to pursue either mm. so it's both on both ends like right. nobody's trying to really get to know each other everybody just kind of dating people for what they see and what they got right. Right. me and my boyfriend we were best friends mm-hmm. and honestly we didn't even like each other like never so even so how long were y'all friends before y'all started dating we probably been friends maybe like six seven years or so God, seven to eight God, years wow, yeah. yeah seven to eight years i met him maybe in like what 2012 honestly so mm-hmm. realistically like honestly almost about 10 years right yeah, y'all were friends so, for a while yeah we've been friends for a while so that's what i'm saying so it's like but we don't look at it as like he knows like okay say, say this like if we if one of be one of us hurt each other it's not hurting our boyfriend or girlfriend mm. we hurt our dog like, right you know that's mm. my partner like yeah. you know like that's my best friend right. what you're saying so you. it's a different type of 
situation, but you got to get to know these people. Yeah. Because I don't think that a lot of women or men be getting to really know, like, okay, well, what's your flaws or what what are you damaged by? Mm-hmm. You know, like, why you got to, you know what I'm saying? Why do you think that right. all men cheat? Well, we do say, like, the type of men that you're supposed to date, like, you supposed to date somebody that has ambition, that can do stuff for you, but right. a lot of things get misconstrued on this yeah. podcast because a lot of times people think we're saying, like, you're supposed to have, everything needs to be transactional. We do not condone no, yeah, that we don't right. subscribe like because a lot of women nowadays want like transactional things like you have to do a b c d e f and it's to like fuck with me right and if you're not doing it i'm not gonna fuck with you right so i feel like a lot of times you know women go into relationships and they need somebody to like take care of them they're looking for uh somebody to be to save them yeah and then what are you doing in right. return right so yeah, you know, I, mean, I say that all the time what type of woman are you i want to know mm-hmm. like what you would do if you're in a relationship like what you do what like, you mean? Like, what can you bring to the table? I feel like I make my own money. I'm bossing up. Like, I got my own shit going on. That's what I can bring to the table. Plus, I'm a loving person. I'm going to take care of the household. I'm going to make sure shit's straight in the house. Absolutely. Do you, you, suck, do you suck dick? Do you suck dick good? I do, do you suck have good dick pussy? Good. I won a dick sucking contest a few I'm years ago. I'm the number one head doctor. <laughs> Not a dick sucking. She got video. We got video footage. Well, she got proof. It was a deal, though. It wasn't a real Okay. Deal. Okay. It was now, a, me on the other hand. I'm going to order your hookah. <laughs> How you want your steak cooked? You want me to make dinner? I'm going to make a reservation. <laughs> okay, no, wait, wait now. Wait, calm down. Because I feel like a lot of times in relationships, <laughs> you know what? You want somebody to clean? I'm going to call the maid. You want somebody to cook? I'm going to call the chef. But you need somebody to talk to? I'm that girl. So you a listening ear. I'm a listening ear, but okay. I am a good friend. Like, honestly, because you know how I am. So you like, feel like that's what you bring to the relationship? Yes, you a good friend more, to your the nigga. money, who cares about money? Like, okay. whatever. The money coming in. Like, all that stuff is superficial. Right. Like, okay, yeah, you can make some pasta, bitch. Like, it's a lot of bitches out here cooking, but they don't make good partners. And a lot of men, that's what they do. They mm. want to be like, oh, can you cook? Can you clean? Okay, but what else? Right. There's more to being a woman than that. And I feel like that's what people have watered being a good woman down to is cooking and cleaning. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this. No, I, I, I definitely agree. But I also feel like this when when women are constantly like, oh, you got to give me something. You got to give those type of women. Right. It's also like, okay, well, what can you bring to the table? Right. Because if you not like a lot of women, like uh, say, for instance, we can get to the whole bills thing. Mm-hmm. Do you think that a man should pay all your bills? Uh... Not if you are we living together or are we not together? If right. y'all living together, you think you should pay your bills? I think that he should be taking care of like the rent mortgage and I'll take care of the small shit. That's what I think is fair. That's how I've done in my past for situations. Because okay. I've lived with a man before. Okay. So he was taking care of the things and I was doing the small shit. I do shit. feel that way. I'm not gonna lie. What? You feel like he should take all our Yeah, because if not, then I could just live by myself like I'm already doing. Yeah, but you're gonna set yourself up to get kicked out too. What you mean, how? Because I feel like this. I don't believe that. Okay, what do you think? So you think I you think that things. I feel like whatever works for your... What, first of all, let me say this, because I know that they might get this misconstrued. Whatever, <laughs> <works, laughs> whatever works for you, it works for you. But there's a lot of women that are missing the, the, the point stuff here. At the end of the day, if you live with a man, that's okay, right? And, but if you're putting all this responsibility, it's so many women that's like, oh, yeah, he should pay all the bills. Okay, so what are you doing? So that's when it comes into, okay, well, what are you doing for him? Oh, I can... I can I can even the main the basic factors are cooking, cleaning, taking care right. of the household, right? Mm-hmm. Or or taking care of the kids or whatever right. the case may be. Right. But then you have all these women talking about they got their hand out, but baby, you don't even know how to cook. Right. And even if you do know how to cook, your food is nasty. That's why he going to his side, bitch, getting <laughs> the other meal. Right. Right. Niggas ankles be but, swollen a little bit after <laughs> I finish feel, cooking. But I'm saying, but no, no, no. I'm not saying, but if, if you're willing to learn how to cook, then okay. But I'm saying, but you don't you don't think that all men should pay all the bills. Well, I will say because the responsibility of running a household, especially when you're dealing with a BDB, that's a lot. So, you gotta <laughs> run the household. She lying. She you do feel like the household. household. But to pay no, all the bills. I mean, no, I said he's supposed to pay like, because honestly, that mortgage, that rent, that's, that shit a lot. You're supposed to pay the big bills, but like the little stuff, I'm gonna make sure the house is running straight. The, he, this nigga don't if I'm buying groceries $200, $300 a week, whatever, I can go get that. That ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Paying the light bill, paying the water bill, that shit is, is going to be taken care of because that's little stuff compared to the big shit that he got handling. As long as he knows he can come home, his lights is on, everything is good, you're supposed to make niggas' life easier. I do agree with that. Well, because I think that that's doing, the part of taking care of the household. Do, yeah, making sure under, the lights stay on and shit. Right. But then you got girls that claiming, oh yeah, I cook, I clean. You don't clean shit. Your room is dirty as hell. Mm, I absolutely 
I agree with that. She actually and and that's that's I tweeted that the other day and went viral for that shit because I was like, if you don't keep your house clean, you're not a bad bitch. You're not a bad bitch. They was mad. You can't be a bad bitch. They was like, what if I have depression? And I'm not saying that. Girl, get your sad ass up and clean up the lot. It was a lot of people that responded to my tweet and they said that they was like, what if I have depression? Like, what if I'm just not in the mood to be able to get get up and clean up today? And I was just like, well, I mean, I can't I'm not trying to offend nobody, but think straight if my house not clean. Yeah, me neither. Like, I get very unmotivated. Like, I don't like yes. that. Like, I can't even, and plus on top of that, yeah. like how I was raised, my mama didn't play that shit. Dang. We would get our ass whooped if we didn't have the house clean by the time she came home. Right. Yeah. She was the type to wake us up at four o'clock in the morning on a school day if it's a dish in my sink, get your ass up and clean the dish. Right. So that's just how I was raised. Right. So that's just I agree with right. the cleanliness. It also starts how you was raised though too. So maybe these, some of these girls are like, you know what I'm saying? They wasn't raised like that. Let me ask you that. You be, you be splitting rent. Y'all be splitting y'all mortgage over there? <laughs> I'm gonna just say this. <laughs> what y'all? <laughs> taking notes. I'm, I'm gonna just say this. We do what we what works for our okay. household. But what All I right. will say is, can't nobody ever kick me out of my shit. Mm. So that's what it comes down to, too. Like a lot of girls, they think that yeah, okay, well, if I give him the responsibility of doing this, well, guess what? The minute that you slip on some shit that he you're not that you're you're supposed to do or he expect for you to do and you not doing he it, guess what? You, you don't. He don't look. He don't respect you mm-hmm. no more. Right. Right. Sometimes you gotta take some type of like ownership and some type of like dignity to be able to be like this is mine too so nigga you can try that shit but I'm not going no right, right. and that's why I always say we always like everyone wants to fuck with somebody who has something but even yeah, these men sure. nobody wants to be with somebody they feel like they have to take care nobody of nobody want to be with a lot of and I know it's going to be a lot of women that's going to be upset at what I'm saying but at the end of the day then these are also the women who nine times out of ten probably can't even get a man or keep one Ooh. yeah I'm sorry I'm not, not saying you slugging me I'm not, no I'm not <laughs> slugging you <laughs> I'm not slugging you <laughs> Slug. You give me a girl, but at the end of the day, if you can take if you can take accountability, saying like I don't know how to cook, but you give me the girl that like will learn or mm-hmm. take the to take the efforts to actually put into the. Ain't nobody saying you got to come out the gate learning, knowing how to cook. Right. Everybody don't know that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But if you're taking the steps to be able to like you know learn and, and better yourself forever, who for the man that you want to be with, mm-hmm. then that's a different type. I'm not talking to those type of right. women. Yeah. Right. I'm talking to the women that standing strong. Just on, doing like this. I ain't doing shit and gimme 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 gimme, and you ain't bringing nothing but to the table. That's the culture that, that it is right that now. Is, yeah. It is a culture. And that's what we talk about all the time on the show because we always try to put that out there and let them know, like, it's okay to expect things when you're dating somebody or expect things yeah. from the situation. Yeah. But what are you bringing to the situation? Absolutely. Why do you deserve the things are you that you're asking for? Right. Are you, that's are you fucking evil? Right. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, especially, like, because all of us, like, we kind of work in media. We right. doing all that stuff. So yeah. I feel like, if you're dating somebody that does the same thing you do, y'all already understand how this shit goes. Like, it's the difference between, like, Lex P and the person that I am at home. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, having somebody, like, to come home to and we can talk and that can be peaceful. Yeah. Like, if I've been recording all day and I've been doing this and that, I don't want to come home and be, like, entertaining you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, having somebody there that can talk to you, that means more to me than anything. Yeah, you know what right. I mean? Yeah. So, I feel like... I, I'm a runner. I'm a track star. <laughs> okay. Because I do feel like I bring a lot to the table. I feel like I'm a damn good friend. I feel right. like I'm a damn good girl because I've been in relationships before. Long-term relationships. Right. And it's always like, they fuck up. They do something. So now I feel like my guard is super up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anytime a nigga does anything, I'm out the door. Well, I'm yes. a runner. I'm a track star. I but I want you to lower that. The ball? The, 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 the wall? Because it's like this. I seen a I seen a um video the other day. They was basically talking about like whatever you hurt and it don't even matter like even if it's just relationships, life shit that you done went through, like, you know, friendship stuff, like whatever. Whatever you hurt from, mm-hmm. you got to be able to let that go because until you let it go, you're going to be stuck in that moment that hurt you forever. Mm, yeah. And see, but that you're going to continue to act like that with every single man because you feel like, oh, I done went through this with one nigga. I done went through this with the next nigga. He, so the next nigga, guess what? He going to get it for all the niggas that done did something wrong. That ain't fair to Because I'm forever getting my lick back. No, you can't oh, get oh, your... My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. You can't get your lick back because okay, what, okay. If you, what if you miss not on your blessing for I my... know, Lord, Jesus, help me, Keisha. And not only that, 
Yeah. But we have to be more feminine too. You know what? And I actually talked about this on the episode last night. It's crazy because <laughs> I always say this. On the show, I'm very like, but when I'm with my men, when I'm yes. with my men, I'm like very much, okay. Okay. You don't have to be very no feminine is to Thank be you. capable of being. Exactly. Uh, actually, what bottle is this? I love it. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, let wow. him feel like he leading something. Yeah, He's the you know, king. Like, I you gotta do, let a man be a man. Right. And I do feel like I show my personality a lot, but that's why I'm glad that you said that. Yeah. Because I feel like we kind of have similar personalities. Like, people think, oh, she loud, she ignorant, she did yeah. she So that. she don't know how to cater to her man. But you're very soft when it comes to your man. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. I cook. I, cook, I do all of that. Mm-hmm. And then not only that, I'm a businesswoman. So, of course, he know, like, at the end of the day, if you if you lose me, you you just a fool. Right. <laughs> Period. You was a fool. Right. Like, you know? So, yeah. What's Please. up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And we gonna tell y'all how we became bilingual. Right. Because y'all know we love to travel. So, mm-hmm. it's very important that when you travel into all of these different places, you at least know, you know, basic communication Right. Skills. So, Babbel.com is the number one selling language learning app. Mm-hmm. See, other apps, they use AI. But Babbel, they use language experts. They created this with over 100 language experts. Mm-hmm. So you want to learn French, Italian, German, Spanish. You they know, got it all. I just got back from Cabo. You know what I'm saying? Yes. He, I, I blew my date mind. I said, can't pass on me more? <laughs> he ain't know what to do. Thanks, Babbel. So what you going to do is you're going to go to Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com and use code Poor Minds. And you're going to get three months free with a purchase of three months. Mm-hmm. So that's six months for the price of three months. You know how much Spanish you can learn in six months? I'm telling you, I'm ready to go back right now. Me too. So go to Babbel.com and use code Poor Minds and get your language on. Right. Like, you know, so yeah. But see, and I think that's the same reason why we be just so ready to go. Because yeah. we be feeling like, okay, well, I got all of these going on. What do I need to stick around with you for? Mm-hmm. Get me like, fucking up. I don't want to die alone. I don't either. You know what I'm saying? You know, and you know what's fucked up And then about you gotta us? also think about our parents too. Like our parents, if they was married or, you know what I'm saying, if your parents was married or, you know what I'm saying, was in relationships and stuff like that or whatever. Imagine how like back in the days, like the women was holding the niggas down. For sure. Like, they was submissive. They, they, they was. was. But where did they get them for real? Them the hoes had four jobs. <laughs> what you mean? They got, the niggas had four families. We I did. ain't going to that. I don't oh, want to go through what Loretta went through. Four families. He had a baby with Darlene down the street. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's no, talk cow. about it. Niggas was living across the street from we their are ruined families. <laughs> we are ruined. They looking across Fuck. the street like, that nigga look like me. Because <laughs> that's your brother, That's your bitch. motherfucking daddy, bitch. No. So they, What's women, granddaddy? women did help hold men down But it was a different day. era, of course, because they didn't have media and all that. They just had to do what they had to do. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. But you have to also think about, like, I be thinking about, like, how did those relationships last, though? Mm-hmm. And they had to be, like, you know what I'm saying, with some substance there, some power, some strength there. But I also feel like, um, because I actually saw a quote the other day, and I can't remember where I found it at, but it actually said, like, a lot of people stay married because it wasn't about love. It was because that person had their back. Yeah. I've seen that. Like, I've yeah, seen that yeah. Too. So yeah, it was, I've like, something it like, it's, it, it has to be more than love. Because there's been plenty of times. They do. That, well, not, I won't say plenty, because I feel like I've been in love one time, mm-hmm. and it was just like, I loved him so much, but mm-hmm. I knew I had to leave. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Same. I never really felt like somebody had my back. See, and that's a different story. Yeah. For sure, definitely. You're going to hold it down for a motherfucker who you feel like you can't. Like, you, if you know, like... I know, like, as far as when it comes to my boyfriend, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I just know, like, ain't no nigga out here ever gonna do the shit that he does for me or ever hold me down and have my the back way he right. the way yeah. that he do. Uh, so that is gonna be an, a, a factor that I'm gonna mm-hmm. take into, you know what I'm saying? Right. For my relationship to, like, fight for my relationship. Because relationships ain't easy. They're, they they're ain't hard. hard. You know what I'm saying? Marriage, on a, whole level. marriage is on a whole nother level. That shit is scary to think mm-hmm. about sometimes. So, but at the end of the day, though, like, do I deserve to be somebody's wife? Absolutely. I want my kids, because I didn't grow up in that type of home mm-hmm. where I had dad and mom. Mm-hmm. I only had mama. Right, you me know? too, same. So, I want my kids to have what I didn't have. Right. right. 
I want them to see their daddy loving on their mama and their mama loving on their daddy. Like, damn, y'all just can't stay away from each other. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they know, like, right. oh, yeah, mom and dad, they done went out on their date. You know how they do yeah. every week. You know what I'm they saying? They like, weekly date night. They little weekly date night. They know they, they come back, they drunk. You know what I'm saying? We got to put them in the bed. Like, y'all want that type of, you know right, like, right, right. I, But you know what? I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like a lot of stuff that I've been through, too, a lot of people make me feel like the things that I expect is like a fantasy. Like, you can you can be entitled to your fantasy. You can have your fantasy. Any girl out there that want that fairy tale, you can have that. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't have that shit just because the bar is set low for them. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, like hell no. Like just because you think that every no nah, no. Nah. Like I believe in that. If you want your fantasy, you want your fairy tale. It can happen. Yeah, you know somebody what I'm saying? actually had commented under one of our videos the other day and said I was delusional. Delusional? And I was wow. like, how am I delusional? Not the profit. Just because what I want isn't attainable for you. Oh. Exactly. That's exactly. how I feel about it. Because you don't know what, what type nobody, of woman I am. What I'm nobody right. wants is makes them delusional just because you feel like you can't you attain can't get it. it. Exactly. Right. And you know what? People people insecurities jump out. They project mm-hmm. their own insecurities off on you because you might be holding yourself with confidence. Right. And you just know that, okay, yep. yeah, I'll get a nigga with this and I'll get my, my dream nigga like you right. can have that or I'll get my dream job or whatever the case may be like with anything in life like mm-hmm. I can't stand people who want to project their insecurities off on you just because they can't get it you right. can get it yep. but the way that we get it is just differently like mm-hmm. it's just different we spend our hours different so yeah. so you gonna you gonna hold a nigga down you not gonna leave I mean, it just depends on it what depends he's doing. On, right. Yeah. And but you ain't not in a situation. Okay, like <laughs> because I always said, I'm not going to lie, I have said this, cheating is not a deal breaker for me. Like, it's a difference between, like, fucking on a hoe one time versus you develop a relationship with her. So, like, if you fuck a hoe one time, I'm not going to lie, that's not a deal breaker for me. I will admit that. Yeah. So, like, what are deal breakers for you? Like, when are you leaving? Cheating. cheating period. I'm not going. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Right. Or or abusiveness. I'm not oh, yeah. going. I'm, I'm with that. I'm, I'm not with going. That. Because at the end of the day, I can deal with so much other shit. I done probably dealt with so much shit from your ass already. So right. the fact I just I don't know. I'm a Virgo, so therefore I think very deeply. Mm. Oh, so I'm sorry. Like, so if you ain't being a Virgo, if you so. cheat on me, I'm just gonna it's just gonna keep on yeah. going in my head. Like so when you was kissing on this, like I'm gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna be ready to throw. I'm gonna be like, and so you pulled your pants down and you had a nerve. Was. But see, like what? She did not necessarily a deal breaker for me, but I feel like it's like. I'll forgive you if I find out you did it. But then if I find out you did it again, yeah. then that's different. Because at that point, you building a relationship right. with the bitch. Like, at this point, you yeah. don't give no fuck. Right. Right. You don't care. You don't care. You don't like, care. You like, don't that's why I said it's like love. Because I'm not going to lie. Like, if you, like, we done all had a night, whatever, something might happen. But if it's, like, continuous and you out here embarrassing me, you paying bitches bills, you flying hoes out, like, that's a whole nother level. So you feel like it's about what they do when they cheating? Uh, yeah, because it's levels. It's levels. Like, some, I just feel like niggas don't be having no respect. Like I like how we just talked about back in the day with our grandparents and our parents, them niggas was cheating too. But I just feel like it was a certain level of respect, respect. that came with the cheating. These days, niggas just be moving sloppy. They right, don't give a they fuck. move sloppy. And I will say, living in the Atlanta, bitch that he cheating on you with will be in your comments. Right, I'm not trying to go to jail, trying to fight in all. That. Listen, because I am fucking crazy. So therefore, I just be like very like <laughs> yeah. You gotta stay out the way. But I I will say that we see that a lot, especially in Atlanta. <laughs> Women will deal with so much stuff yeah. just because they feel like, oh, I got a bag, I got a shoe. No, they be dealing with it because they ain't got no money. Let's yeah. be real. I mean, that is true. That's, a, that's another thing. That's yeah. why. It's it like, ain't about the bags and the shoes. It's also about, like, well, if I leave this nigga, I can't pay my rent. Yeah. Mmm, sucks for you. So, <laughs> there's that. So, I'm going to try to open up my heart. <laughs> Come on, yes. Yolanda Adams. And bring my wall down and give niggas a chance. The right niggas. The though. right niggas. I see that, and that's where I fuck up at. I don't know who right, who wrong. Exactly. I start smoking on the hookah, jigging the drink. It's All hard. niggas be the right niggas. <laughs> All the niggas be right. She's that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't know. I don't be knowing. But I think that I do. I feel like as I'm older, as I get older, I kind of like, I know exactly what I want. You know, I know what I want. I feel like when I was younger, I was kind of like, mm, I think I want this. I think I want that. Oh, he has to have this. Oh, no, I'll take care of that. But now it's like, I know exactly how I want my relationship to look. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like if I'm open and honest with that in the beginning of like situations when I deal with men, it's just like, you know, I can weed them out. Yeah. 
But I gotta stop running. I'm you gotta a stop runner. running if you you gotta stop running if you know what you want and and you know what I mean. Yeah. Like if that's the I gotta man give that people want, a chance. You yeah. don't be giving people. I chances. do need to give people a chance too, girl. I'm not gonna lie to you. I be over it. <laughs> I be over it. So would you date a girl? I have. Hey. That don't work neither. <laughs> okay. I be stopped doing that a long time ago because I feel like women are too emotional yeah. for crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then it's like, it ain't no such thing as domestic violence. So if y'all get into it, y'all really going to be fighting each other. But to me, it like, still you know? is though. It still <laughs> is because we cool with somebody who is a lesbian and she be talking about how like her and her girlfriend be fighting. But I still feel like that's domestic violence. Yeah, like if you're in a relationship with somebody and they putting their hands on you, bitch, why is you trying to beat my ass? <laughs> Hey, y'all know I what can't shit? fight, I bitch. thought we was in love. We're supposed to be in love. <laughs> We're supposed to be in love. We, because no, we literally. are. Mm-mm. Yeah, so, but, um, so that's, why, that's what we're going to say. I'm, we're going to try. Let's just try we that. We're going to try, girl. Let's just try that. we going to try the next few approach. We're going to let y'all know how okay. it go. Just try. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know it's about to get, you know, it's fall time. It's fall. You know what I'm saying? So, you so, know. So, Friendsgiving coming up. Yes. Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving. It's time to eat all the pumpkin. Mm-hmm. Pumpkin coffee, pumpkin donuts. And hello, free pumpkin, 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 turkey, cinnamon rolls. All that mm-hmm. stuff. My pumpkin turkey. Well, you got to try a little something. Something mix it up a little bit. So, y'all know we be busy and on the go all the time. So, Hello Fresh has prepackaged ingredients. Mm-hmm. Anything you need is coming straight to your door. And it's 30% cheaper than shopping at your grocery store. So, you're going to be saving money. Yes, and it helps you ensure that you won't waste your money mm-hmm. on stuff that's going to end up in the trash right. anyway. So, Drea had made me the uh, sweet and spicy chicken stir fry. You know, I love a good stir fry. It had a little jasmine rice, mm-hmm. the little green beans. I said, it was good. I said, hold on, wait a minute. You thought you was at Benny Han. I did. I thought I was at Benny Han. Han. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to HelloFresh.com slash PoorMinds14 and use code PoorMinds14 to get up to 14 free meals. And that includes free shipping. So, make sure, you know, if you want to have a little Friendsgiving, you want to have a little day over, the meals is about to change. Y'all supposed to be making y'all a little chili and all that stuff. Right. So, go to HelloFresh.com backslash PoorMinds14 and get your cook on. Just try. So, let's get into this other topic real, real quick. Now, you talked about you and your man was friends for a long time before y'all started dating. Yeah. So, the next topic is, are men better friends than women? Do you have more guy friends than you do female friends? Absolutely. <gasps> you think men are better friends than women? This is what I, I think. Too. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to... Uh, oh, listen, hell, this is what I'm going to say. No, not two against one. But I no, do. Listen, this is what I'm going to say. <laughs> like, like a, again, like my boyfriend, he my best friend. And uh-huh. then all of my real, like, best friends, they're all gay males. Mm. Literally. Like, my closest friends are gay males. So, it's like, the thing about it is, like, I'm not going to say that they're just, like, better friends. But... W- it's just this shit with females like females are too fucking like catty jealous envious they're weird like then you next thing you know they might try to talk to your nigga after y'all fall out they want to tell all your business mm-hmm. and shit i don't have time for that because i will hurt you right. like you know what i mean i don't want to i don't want to do that and not only that with me like any girl that i consider as my friend like you was my fucking dog so yep. i will like fight for you i will go to fucking war right, for you but right. if you didn't did some old flaw ass shit i will never be able to respect you again mm. that's like that's why i've like a lot of girls like you know i have girl friends but as far as like close, close friends all your close no, friends are guys i don't all of my close friends i'm around boys all damn day damn and see with legs i feel like you a girl's girl I'm which a girl's not to girl. say that i'm not but it's just like if somebody do some fuck shit, I'm letting you go. I don't give a fuck. Like, Lex really tries to hold on to her female friendships, and I never really understand it, because I'd be like, if this bitch is fraud, let her go, because she not already showed you who she is. Yeah. That's how I am. Yeah, that's how I, I am, gotta I am too. I let you go. Yeah, but you know what? You know what's so crazy? It's like, I've given, I feel like in my past, um, like, friendships and stuff, I've given people, like, more chances than they've actually deserved. Yeah, so it's like, too much grace. But realistically, when I just, I always walk out, like, gracefully. I walk away from yeah. it gracefully, because I'm just like, you know what? At the same time i still considered you as my sister so i ain't gonna try to embarrass you i ain't oh, yeah. gonna try to fight you i'm not gonna pray back i'm gonna pray for you and i pray that you go to the you know what i'm saying sky is mm-hmm. the limit i pray that you reach all your goals but at right. the end of the day i, I don't want you. you i can't have you at my table with I me i guess i'm, I'm the just same like, way like i just walk away I don't the, even when try i to do think about me. the messiest people i know mm-hmm. it's niggas it's niggas they, niggas they, they are do get messy. messy they are messy men they are. are so messy and i feel like i guess because i have an older sister and that's literally like my best friend like me and my sister talk every day we yeah. grew up together and then like in the house it was just me my mom my sister so like i guess that one 
womanly bond I just yeah. grew up with. Yeah. So it's like, I'm not gonna lie. If a nigga do something, you gone. Whether you're my friend, I'm fucking you, you're my boyfriend, whatever. But like, if a woman does something, I do have like a little softer side. Yeah. I don't know why I've always been that way. And see, yeah. I was that way with my daddy, like growing up in the household. Me and my daddy was like, my daddy was actually a Virgo. Mm. We was so motherfucking tight. And then, you know, one of my closest friends is a man. Mm-hmm. And we've been friends since we were like 17 and I'm 30. Right. So. Well, I guess I had, I've always had like kind of situations where I'm not going to lie. Like I have had a few situations, not with like my guy friends that I'm friends with now, but like you think you friends with a nigga. And then as soon as like something happened, he tried to fuck with you. Mm. Or he try to, like, talk to you on some yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's always been my experience. Like I said, now as an adult, I feel like niggas know not to play with me. Like, yeah. I don't go through that now. But, like, younger, I was mm-hmm. always dealing with, like, men trying to be my friend. And then they get in close and then they be trying to, like, fuck with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just always kind of be like, okay, we can be cool, but we ain't never going to be that cool. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, because then I feel like you just got to find the right type of male friends, because I've even had, like, straight male friends who haven't tried to talk to me, and they've told me, like, I think you attractive and shit, but it's just like, they knew what it was, they knew we were friends, and they wasn't going to try to cross that line, because sometimes fucking up the friendship ain't worth trying to get in a relationship. I mean, I feel like I experience that more now, because I'm around, like, older men, and men that's just about their business, Mm -hmm. and men that's just, like, they want to be cool with me, they not looking for yeah. that so now as like as i'm in my 30s i experience that more like men being like nah because you know what we can work together yeah. or you a cool ass chick and i don't want to fuck that up right versus in my 20s it was like dealing with a lot of men that were just like okay let me see if i'm gonna catch lips slick slipping on that chardonnay one day i'm dead because i do be <laughs> slipping on the chardonnay you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so y'all think men are better friends i don't i do i, I don't even think that it's just better friends because yeah. i'm not gonna lie like i do miss some Sometimes, like, having bonds with girls and just calling up my girl, like, oh, right. yeah, you know what I'm saying, da 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 But, you know, like, it just be like, I'm just really dodging all, like, the drama. I don't have time for right. it. I don't have the patience for that. Like, all of that emotional. I'm not really, emo- like, I'm a, I'm emotional to a certain extent. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm with saying? With certain people. Yeah, with certain people. Right. You are earth sign, though. Think, that's how we are. I'm just like, that's that's what I was about to be like, like, we're emotional, but only with certain people. Like, yeah. you gotta get that shit out of this. Right. Yeah, and all of that cattiness, like, all of that well, shit. And I, I, I feel like that. that's kind of something that, like, y'all have in common, because I feel like Drea has gone through that a lot with yes. women, like, being her friend and then like it comes out that she did some whole ass shit to her like and it just be like what the fuck for no reason it be like bitch what I do to you exactly like literally like what is that like why like what the hell like the whole time like Mm -hmm. oh no I could I could write a book and you was really telling people like that's my girl nah she would never that's my sister like literally like that's my dog damn you end up looking crazy as hell end up looking crazy as fuck All right, so now we gonna get (laughs) into into the the bed the bed the bed bow 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 (laughs) so I wanted to talk about this today because I, like I said, I've lived with a man before. And you and your man live together, right? Yeah. So I lived with a man before. So I want to talk about masturbating in a relationship Mm -hmm. because when I was in my relationship at the time, like one time he called me masturbating. He was so fucking mad. What did he say? He was mad. He was like, man, what the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) I've been at work all day I'm trying to come home to something ready you you already done but you could have did it again that's the thing about women we could go again these are the ones that be needing the break you mad like damn I was just trying to get it ready get it ready get it ready ready (laughs) so uh, (laughs) yeah like what I honestly feel like now when I be like dealing with men I be like trying to hide like if I masturbate or if I did that I do because mm-hmm. I feel like they be getting jealous. Mm-hmm. I guess it's just from, like I said, that past situation. Like, when I tell y'all he was so mad. Wow. That was just weird, though. I think most men think that that's a turn on. Yeah, I feel like maybe if they're there with you, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Or, like, if y'all have a long-distance situation, yeah. you know, that's different. But when I tell y'all, like I said, he was so fucking mad. Like, he ain't like that. He wouldn't feel He ain't me. like that. So, do you... I don't want to get too, you know, personal. <laughs> but do you still run that thing a little bit? <laughs> My man would never get mad. He wouldn't get mad. He would never. And I, But the thing is, is even in return, like, if he did it, I wouldn't get mad at him. Right, yeah, right. It's like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, whatever. See, and, and see that's where that you said something right mm-hmm. there. I'm not going to lie. If I walk in the bathroom, my nigga jacking off, I'm like, the pussy right here, nigga. I <laughs> you done drain that boy out. I you would only get mad I'm if it was like 
right on. after we had sex and you faked it on some shit. Then Damn, I would okay, use some type of way. That, that is a, that is, yeah. that was the issue. That like, was remember the issue. that episode of the game where Melanie had walked in the bathroom and Durbin was jacking off? Like, after they had sex? Because she had faked it. Yeah. I mean, he had faked yeah. it like he No, nah, yeah, that's a problem. I would feel some type of way about this. Because that mean that you ain't got that, you, you ain't got that You ain't got that wop. You ain't got that wop. I'm not gonna lie, that's never happened to me where I feel like a guy. never happened to me. But I'm not gonna lie, like I said, like, if I walked in on my man, like, jacking off and I'm at home, I'm gonna feel some type of way. It's like, you don't wanna just fuck? Like... It's going, you know, but you, but what if you wasn't at home? Like you say, you walked in and he uh, was I mean, it's out. different. Like I said, if I wasn't at home and he just wanted to get his day started, get a little pep in the step, <laughs> you know, that's all right. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like if you're like sneaking off to do it, yeah. that's, that's like, oh, yeah, it's not giving be sneaky. Like, yeah, like yeah. don't be sneaky. Like if you just like, oh, I didn't want to fuck. I just want to get it off my nut real quick so I can have some energy or whatever I'm trying to do, or I'm trying to sleep real good mm-hmm. and I didn't want to do all that. That's a little understandable. But like, if you're sneaking, cause I'm not going to lie, bitch, I was sneaking and he <laughs> called me. Why was he you sneaking me now? He wasn't making you come. I mean, you have to realize like in that time, like I was young, I was in my twenties, like my early twenties. So I wasn't really having orgasms during sex. Yeah. Like, cause you know, like I didn't know what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Like I was young. Like, so I feel like sex, it was good. It felt good, but it wasn't like how I'm having sex now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I was kind of like being a little sneaky. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, I had to tell him like, the dick not good, nigga. Damn. Oh. And then what he say? He was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm making love this to you, girl. Dumb, <laughs> he said, I'm she making love to you, girl. I said, Aww. well, you was like, like, are you? Are you? Are you really though? Because I don't feel like, I, I'm not at that point love. you gotta tell him. Yeah, at that and, point you gotta. And tell him. I feel like that. I'm, I'm like that now. You know, like I tell men. You know, like, hey, this is how you need to do it. This is what you need to do. It's very rare that you come across a man that knows how to do everything. Yeah, you know what absolutely. I'm saying. So instead, don't sneak off. And what will work for somebody for one woman doesn't work for. <laughs> and the tell next. them about the yeah. pills now, because we oh, got okay. the pills. Let me pull the little pills out. Hold on, y'all. We love a good pill now. The pussy pills. Now y'all know we the love little pills. pussy pills. <laughs> <laughs> we about to put you on location. She like, what the hell? So, yeah. So, you know, me and Lex always talk about the taste pills that we take. Like, whenever we're about to have sex or whatever, it changes the taste of your vaginal secretions. And it's all natural. It has nothing but, like, vanilla extract, strawberry extract, I mean, what else? Banana. All the stuff. Look, young Keisha, you're on fire. You better believe that. That's going to change your life. It's going to change your life. So, it changes, like, the way you taste them here. Yeah, it does. So and I men can like, take it as well. Yeah, men can take it as well. So I feel like it just brings a little excitement. Yes, in the bed. Switch it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So do you like to use like do y'all use toys in the bedroom? That's like hell no. Well, I know I don't that's know. Right. no. No. But I'm not gonna but lie. Do you use toys in general? No. No, you don't. I've tried, but then I'm like, I don't know if this is right in the bed. <laughs> Let me it's tell you. <laughs> no, sometimes yeah. it's a lot. Yeah, it it's, too much. it's too much. Yeah. Like this does not feel like the real thing. Right. Hell no. I'm not gonna lie. I love using toys in the bedroom. I've always said that. But I'm not gonna lie to you. I told you, Mr. Cabo put it on me. I ain't touched my toys since I've been back. I've been back for six years. Well, you I went to Cabo six years ago, bitch. You did say that it was the most fire It was head. definitely top three. I so feel I feel bad like if any of y'all old niggas is watching I'm me. sorry, but I'm not gonna lie to you. If you have a nigga that really know what he's doing in the bedroom toys really aren't needed yeah, absolutely not gonna lie. and I and I co-sign for toys all the time yeah. I love a good toy but I'm not gonna lie you really don't need them toys like yeah. that if he's doing what he's supposed to do exactly. I can agree with that mm-hmm. so now we gonna get into, into the bow the bow the bow the bow 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 okay <laughs> what's your bop of the week you wanna go first you wanna go first I'll go first my bop of the week is Pressure by Ari Lennox Oh, I, lo- I love that song. Look it's such us. a good song. Ari Lennox is so beautiful. Yeah, she is. So fine. Can sing her ass off. Yeah, the I like video I like was amazing. Like, she really understood, mm-hmm. like, what she was getting. You know what? I will say this about artists these days. I feel like a lot of people don't understand their audience. And I feel like a lot of times, like, people will make a good song, then they'll switch up their sound because mm-hmm. they want to go, oh, I want to do this, and they're doing it too early. But... Ari has understood, like, okay, this is what they like to hear from me, so let me keep giving yeah. it to them. You know what I'm saying? She's definitely very consistent with it's her sound. Consistent. Yes, she is. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I, if I got on here talking about the square root of three times two, niggas ain't gonna tune in. They wanna hear me talking about sucking dick. 
So you got to know your audience and give it to them. <laughs> you feel me? This bitch crazy. This fuck. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. This is what I deal with every day. <laughs> so Ari, shout out to Ari. I love the song Pressure. It's a fabulous it song. Is. She it's looks amazing. Song. And she's lost a lot of weight. I feel like her confidence is just going through the roof. And mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah. I love so, how she's switching her style up with like the little wigs and yes, stuff too. Mm-hmm. So what you been listening to this week? Um, a, a lot of a lot of everything, mm-hmm. <laughs> but I would say my song of the week is um Janae Aiko Pussy Fairy. Ooh, come on, a good throwback. That yes. is because I know you love fucking me. Yeah, <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> yeah, that is such a. I'm move. talking about the extended version too with, yes. with our sister on it. Okay, mm-hmm. see, so yeah. I heard that one. What? It was I on the heard album. That one. It was I on heard, yeah, I think it was, it was on, on the album. Well, let me go back. Yeah, because you know sometimes I be I told you how I she feel about full Janae. Version. She does. Yes. yes. Okay. And I, I, love I, I, I be Fairy. feeling some type of way about Janae sometimes. I'm back and forth with girl. Yeah. Please, I'm don't not even, gonna don't, do it. Don't do it. I'm not gonna do it. But she be doing the impersonation. And I she just, just ain't got time sometimes for it. I feel like just just say what you mean. You know what I'm saying? Like cause sometimes <laughs> she be like, it's feeling so wet. <laughs> <laughs> it's dripping. My wine. Are you sipping? It's like, girl, you talking about your pussy? Get to the point. That's how she be. So I'll be back and forth with her. Um, my bop of the week is Wale featuring Maxo Cream and Yellow Beezy. So let me just say this. First of all, Wale is a genius. I love him. Lyricist off the chain. Mm-hmm. He sampled uh, Still Tipping. So you know that's the Houston anthem. Yes. Love that. And let me say this. First of all, um, I made Maxo Cream my bop of the week with Tyler the Creator the other week. And everybody knows Maxo Cream is like, in Houston, he's that nigga. He is. I feel yeah. like it's hard for a lot of Texas artists to like get popping and stay on. So mm. for Yellow Beezy to still be like Yellow Beezy has had a, a good like silent he's run. He's had a good reign. Like he's still making music, still making money, and I fuck with that because you don't see that coming from uh, Texas a lot of times. I feel like unless you move out of Texas, right? Unless you yeah. move out of Texas, like but, but like staying there, yeah, and trying to but like, trying to get on it don't really work. Yeah, mm. I feel like Meg's story is like one in a million. Like mm. especially because how Houston is, mm-hmm. Houston don't like nothing until we see other people like it. Yeah. Yeah not like Atlanta at all. Like Atlanta, I feel like they support people. You yeah. know, you feel like that? No? Well, I don't know. I'll make Are you music. from Atlanta? Yeah. Okay. So. You don't feel like, you know, Atlanta is some more supportive? No? No? Look, I'm trying to get the tea She's like, nah. To a certain extent. Okay. To a very slight certain extent. Okay. But- I don't it's know. not because I will say like in the like music world you always hear people being like oh Atlanta loves their artists Atlanta loves Atlanta like they up themselves but that's because and- everybody know Atlanta artists yeah, um, I guess everybody so. don't know the Houston artists, yeah. you know. I mean, yeah. the Texas artists. Atlanta be like running the music industry. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. So yeah. I guess that's why where that narrative mm-hmm. comes from. Mm-hmm. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Poor Minds listeners get ten percent off of their first month at BetterHelp dot com backslash Poor Minds. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Lex P, and it's your girl Dre and Nicole. And y'all know we gonna stay it all the time. Y'all better get on BetterHelp dot com. Y'all know we love us some BetterHelp. I actually have my counseling session later on today with mm-hmm. my counselor. Tiffany. I mean, I've been doing so well. My counselor be hitting me up like, girl, you having too much fun. We still got some work to do. You know what I'm saying? Because we've been going for a while now and I feel like we've both noticed a big change. Right, a huge change. So if you've ever thought about getting into therapy, if you're suffering from like any kind of stress, depression, anything that you have going on, Mm -hmm. betterhelp.com is the program for you. Everything is done online from the comfort of your own home. You can send them messages, regular phone calls, video phone calls, calls whatever you like yes. so we actually have a patient review mm-hmm. so the patient review says ashley has been very helpful i feel very comfortable talking to her she listens to me and i don't feel awkward discussing personal matters to her she's been amazing and has helped me overcome difficult obstacles in my life this review was written by a better help user after working with ashley crank for three weeks on issues concerning depression stress anxiety relationship issues and family conflicts yes so as y'all know this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. So you're going to go to BetterHelp.com. That's Better H-E-L-P dot com backslash four minds. You're going to get 10% off of your first month of counseling. So there's no excuse. There's no excuse. So go ahead and join the over 1 million people that already use BetterHelp including us. Period. 
What we got next, girl? I'm so now and we're gonna get into our favorite segment, which is the pour your heart out segment. You know, if you have any questions, go ahead and send them to ask poor minds at gmail.com. That's A S K P O U R M I N D S at gmail.com. And you know, we'll answer your questions. We also have a testimonial segment that we about to start doing. So if you know we gave you some good advice or if we ruined your life, <laughs> write in and let us know. We wanna know either way. Yes. So you wanna read the first one? Yeah. I'll read it hey poor girls i love you guys so much and i listen every friday night so i'm a florida girl and i'm here talking to this dude from kentucky he's everything i ever wanted in a man he has flew me out a couple times and he's a true bdb he's now playing basketball in the nba he's a black man and his religion is muslim let me google this nigga he has deep beliefs and wants me to convert i'm a christian and i'm not down to change but he's a good man i do hear and this man talking about i gotta wear a head wrap now how that's gonna work when i go out there we don't have sex i tried to take the dick but he still doesn't break Ugh, what is a girl to do please help a poor girl out What's all advice? he might be he might be waiting till till your marriage yeah yeah he might be and i feel like sometimes maybe try it try something different like try get, being celibate yeah try being yeah. celibate if you say he's a good man sometimes you have to try different things yeah you know what i'm saying like i'm not gonna lie i told this story a long time ago whenever it was wind down wednesday but i had a nigga like i was de- dating and dealing with and like we didn't have sex for like six months in the relationship now when i got the dick it was trash and i stopped <laughs> talking to him but that's besides the point i thought he was a good man and i waited for him it didn't work out in Damn. my favor but it might work out in your favor yeah, so I, but also you have to respect people's uh religious beliefs now that's something i really like you know you gotta respect no people. you do when yeah, it comes to religion for yeah. sure so i feel like if you feel like he's a good man it ain't really a lot of good men out here girl yeah right. i would try to see if i could yeah. stick it out i would i'm Lock not gonna down. lie yeah, yeah get your little vibe ready you'll be all right <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dick Trash, maybe if y'all get married, you know, you could teach them. Teach them a little thing or two. All right, so question two. The girls want to know, and by the girls, I, I mean me. Of course he put this question in. Of course in. he did. Is Ryan single? I need to know before I start mass liking his pictures. Never shot my shot before. Mind y'all. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan. Is, and Ryan is the one who chooses the questions. That's why these questions are so said, funny. I'm single and ready. Yes, Ryan is single, <laughs> ladies. If y'all want to shoot y'all shot, but trust and believe, if y'all start dating Ryan, you're not about to be up here with us. You're not about to be on tour. <laughs> y'all about to go to the local donut shop and get coffee and honey buns. Ryan is not about to. We got to link Ryan <laughs> Instagram below in the description we don't box. Ryan no, but Ryan is a good man. Ryan's a good time, but yes, he is single. That's a good man, Savannah. That's a good man. Ryan is a good man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Go ahead with the question, girl. Hey, ladies, I'm 28. My fiance and I just had our first baby about a year ago. I'm at the heaviest weight of my life and really feeling down about myself. What tips do you have to lose weight and then keep it snatched? Mm. Y'all got new keto you, diet. I always go on a damn diet every now and then. Yeah, yeah I go on diet. So you can like, do keto diet. You can just and honestly stay in the gym, but just try to like maintain your eating more so. Because mm-hmm. if you're if you're eating a bad out of the week, like you know what I'm saying, bad like four times out of the week, then it don't matter if you working out. It ain't going. You know what I'm saying? It's just gonna basically like it's not going. It's not gonna go well. So right. yeah, you can do keto diet. You can try a smoothie diet where you just go for like five days of smoothie juicing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just work out and get active though. More sex too. Yeah, yes. I, I agree with that, and I do think that's a misconception a lot of people have. They feel like, oh, you know, I'ma just go work out like six times a week, seven times a week, but then you eating bullshit. You're every eating day. bullshit, like it's not gonna work. So like, it doesn't you work. You can make, you can pro- possibly, you might be able to eat bullshit maybe like two times, right? But realistically, but like it's only seven days a lot of calories. Week. For sure, you gonna right. have to burn more calories because I feel like it's all about balance. Because I'm somebody who always i'm always struggling with my weight my weight be up and down mm-hmm. so i feel like when i go too hard on myself then i lose too much weight and then as soon as i get off i gain it back yeah so what i've learned is like six days out of the week you need to work out and eat healthy have one day out the week where you give yourself a break yeah and have goals to work towards because i feel like trying to eat salads soups and smoothies every day that's unrealistic for a lot of people you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah, it's hard. so it's like if you know like okay you know what on saturdays i'm gonna give myself like two cheap meals or one cheap meal but sunday i'm right back on so give yourself little things to like motivate you 
And I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep it all the way to home with y'all. I just went and got some little diet pills. It's called Adipex. They curb oh, my yeah. appetite. And they work. They do. So, you know... I'm not saying it, but I feel like but yeah, you if go you to gonna do that, then you need to check the ingredients that's in it because yeah, you know go you to never the know. Yeah, go to the doctor. I went sure. to my primary care physician. I did a full everything, yeah. and then he was like, "Okay, you know, because I am a little overweight. You know what I'm saying? I've been eating good, living good, so I was just like, okay, you know, I gotta slow things down. Right. So maybe that's something that you could look into because it does like curb my appetite because I am an overeater. Like I'm, but so of, it was prescription. Yeah, you have to get a prescription. Okay. It's not like you can just go and get. It. Like okay. you have to get a prescription, and you do have to be like overweight. Like I'm overweight, technically. Like with I am. your BMI, yeah. Like I'm overweight. Yeah. So he was like, okay, you know, we gonna put you on this because you need to lose about twenty pounds. I was like, goddamn twenty, because I'm still trying to be a thick queen now. <laughs> Hold on, doc. So Girl. I'm gonna do what I want to <laughs> do, but I'm gonna lose a little bit. I might lose ten, fifteen on your ass. Yeah, I for sure got a weight problem. Yeah, no, like, me I'm so I'm definitely over the BMI. No, I, sure. have a, I have a weight problem. Like I can't wait to eat. So. <laughs> <laughs> that might be bigger, but let me just say, body fire. No, yeah, the body, body is nice. fire. So I, said, I was coming on y'all. I said, hold on, <laughs> making all them jokes. They got that ass back there, and I seen it when she walked in. Now. I said, thank you for coming. Okay, period. It's all there. Period. All right. Okay. So you got the last question or me? I'll read. I think I just read. It. Okay. Yeah. Hey, ladies. I love you both. I appreciate you, and you both inspire me so much. I'm about to be 32 in two weeks, and I have a dilemma. I have been with this man for about a year now, and I just found out that I was pregnant. Honestly, mm. I'm not trying to keep this man's baby, and it was my fault for even getting that far with him. I already have a daughter, and I really am just focused on making sure <laughs> she has the best life possible. I'm a boss, and I make my own money, but this man has not really been supporting me financially and mentally like I need him to. On top of that, I have caught him a few times cheating. It always seems caught like him. he's trying to hide us. It's just a lot of fishy shit going on. My plan is to go to my appointment and follow through with terminating the pregnancy. My question is, how do I explain to him and cut him off completely? He lives with me right now, but I'm just ready to run and get my life back to when I was happy. Well, you said it right there. You're not happy. Yeah, Stop you're not leave. happy. So, yeah, just leave. Yeah, because like, I feel like a lot of times women think... And sometimes men too, because I feel like when men be trying to trap women, having a baby in a bad situation is not gonna make it better. It's That's gonna what make I'm it saying. Worse. That's why you just gotta make sure the situation is is already solid before you take the next step. Because I don't, I don't necessarily support. I don't support abortion, but I also don't support mm -hmm. bringing in a child who didn't ask to be here into some bullshit. Like mm -hmm. right. that child don't deserve that. The child deserves, you know what I'm saying? Just all a types of love, home. a loving home, mm -hmm. right? So don't bring that baby up into this world, and you already know the situation is just gonna be bad. Like, and I don't even really think you owe him an explanation to be honest it's I think your body it's your body yeah. and i do feel like um you know honestly i feel like if you want to say something say something after the fact you've not already packed your shit up and left right like literally because you never know how these niggas crazy like mm -hmm. you know you never know how they might crazy. try to react right so just go ahead and leave and then you know send them a text like yeah i handled that and you know i'm wish you nothing but the best right because yeah. you said already that he's not there for you financially and yeah. mentally babies are expensive it's not gonna get no easier and then mentally that shit is hard too so yeah. i feel like you already struggling with him and the baby's not even here and, you and then even... you have another child that you're already taking care yeah, of yeah that's a lot that's a girl lot you know damn well we wrote in and asked that question that we <laughs> she was just wanted to be like, like, like you know damn, damn well yeah. <laughs> I don't agree necessarily with abortions neither. Right. But I don't believe in bringing Girl, a baby into a fucked situation. if you want to have an abortion, they're going to be up there with mine. They're going to be just fine. <laughs> she do always say I'm that. I'm kidding. So, you know. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> she said it all the time. I'm just saying, he got some friends up there. Damn. Sheesh. He going to be all right. <laughs> Well, like you gonna, playing around well she gonna be all right we'll say that you'll be fine i feel like do whatever you feel like is best for you and your daughter that's already here because you can't make decisions off of worrying about what other people gonna do like you just said you're not happy so it's okay to it's put all your about your first. happiness at the end of the day because i mean sure. if you're not happy how you gonna be a good mom mm -hmm. yeah. to your baby that you already have and a new baby mm -hmm. you know right. so talking walking <laughs> Okay, period. <laughs> now y'all ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You know, okay, I'm gonna put. I saw who I was gonna put a lyric. So, so y'all know we sing at the end of every episode. So it's giving. It's giving trio. Okay, it's giving. We deserve Grammys. Yes, you know. And if you need somebody to sing on your hook, Keisha, I got you. Okay, <laughs> I, got, I got you. Now that's for real. She used to love. I 
love your song Ride Good. I, uh, I, I bet you ride so good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I used to yes, be on this whole scene that shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, look, I, I told y'all, I've been trying not to fangirl this whole time. I done made your bops like, my bop of the week been a light skin Kisha song like a, a yes. few times. Because <laughs> they just some bops. They are. Oh, they they some bops or whatever. Yeah. You ready? We like some boys that be in them like leaning. Okay. I be so low for the cheapin'. Right okay. Love how you keep my body screaming. Oh, we know what it is. We like the D that be in the back beating. Beatin'. I be so low from the cheapin'. Cheapin'. I love how you keep my body screaming. Uh -huh. A rude boy that's good to me with street credibility. And it's better same hood. Ooh. I ain't checking for a better be street. Ooh. They be looking at me. I need a soldier that ain't scared of stand up. Know that carry big things if you know what I mean. If, if you're steady, same hood. Mm -hmm. I ain't looking okay. for a better be street if you're looking at me. I need a soldier that ain't scared to stand up for me. God, I know that get dough and he better be street. We like them boys up top from the BK. BK. Know how to put that money three ways. Three ways. Always ready to be on the freeway. Freeway. With that East Coast swing. That's country, country girls. We like low cut Caesars with the deep way. So quick to snatch up your Beyonce. Your Beyonce. Always coming down, Bobby. Now it's at a time. Another country girl. Another country girl. They got the same thing. I'm checking for a better be street. If you're looking at me, I need a soldier. That I need a soldier. If you know what I mean. If that is a who. Checking for a better be street. If you're looking at me, I need a soldier. Stand up on Michelle. Oh. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. I like them boys over there. They ain't looking strong tonight. Strong tonight. Just might get one up on tonight. Strong tonight. Call me in the dickies in my zone tonight. Zone tonight. He don't know it might be on tonight. Oh, oh no. no. We looking good and he talking right. Talking right. He the type that might change my life. Change my life. Every time he look at me, my girls be like. Girls be like. That one, one might be the one tonight. Yeah. Girls yeah. be like. Where is our Grammy? See, cash money is an army. All right, I walk out. All right, all right. I'm sorry. Pipe I got a little carried away. I'm I got a little dead. carried away. <laughs> all right, so Light Skin Keisha, tell us the projects that you're working on that we can look out for and then tell them where they can find you at. Um, well, you can follow me everywhere at Light Skin Keisha, K-E-I-S-H-A. You know what I'm saying? Period. Um, and I will be dropping my next project. It's called Break the Bank, period. So y'all can look forward to that in October. Mm. It's coming soon. And we got another project coming out this year, too, as well. And my new single will be dropping Margarita soon. So y'all make sure y'all go check that out on all streaming platforms. Go check out all my music on all streaming platforms. Now be sure. I got some vibes. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas too. Yeah. I'm outside on the block. What you try to do? Who do. wants more? Hey. You know, yeah. look now. Yeah. Just, don't get me started now. <laughs> That's your shit. Don't get me started. <laughs> I love it. All right. Thank y'all so much for tuning yes, in. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all next week. See Bye, y'all. Bye. That was good. That was yes, good. That was so Come good. On, <laughs> love it. This Thank was a you. great episode. Thank you so That was much. good. Thank you. Woo. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you so much.